Before the video starts, I recommend you to like and subscribe. Hello, this is Germany. How did Germany become successful? And, how is Germany leading the European Union? The short answer is history. A very long time ago, Germanic people moved to Germany, and Germans lived in tribes. But when the Romans came, they were considered barbarian. But the Germans won the battles against the Romans. During the 5th century, the Franks, who originated from West Germanic tribes, became a superpower in the region. Charlemagne, the emperor of the Franks, was considered the Roman emperor by the Pope in 800. But no empire lasts forever. In 843, the Treaty of Verdun was signed, which divided the Frankish Empire into three separate states. The Frankish Empire was divided into West Francia, Middle Francia, and East Francia. Eastern Francia is called Kingdom of Germany. In 962, Otto I established the Holy Roman Empire. Holy Roman Empire is not your typical empire. It is a mixture of semi-independent German-speaking cities, and duchies. In 1190, the state of Teutonic Order was founded. It is a Catholic religious order who successfully conquered, and colonized Prussia, and Baltic regions. Germans succeeded on assimilating Prussians to the German culture. In 1411, Poland destroyed the Teutonic Order, and Prussia became Poland's puppet. In 1657, Prussia managed to gain independence from Poland. Prussian King Frederick William made Prussia more powerful economically. Prussia took part in the Great Northern War, and defeated Sweden, together with the help of Russia. Prussian King Frederick the Great fought against Austria, expanded the Prussian lands, and Prussia became a European power. Napoleon Bonaparte conquered Germany during the Napoleonic Wars, but he was defeated in the Battle of Waterloo. Napoleon destroyed the Holy Roman Empire to create a new German confederation. William I of Prussia expanded Prussia even more, and unified all the Germans in the region, and created the German Empire. The German Empire also created colonies in Africa, like its European neighbors. During the World War I, German Empire joined the Central Powers, and lost the war. Aftermath of the war, Germany became humiliatingly weak, and the Great Depression occurred more early in the country. For that reason, many Germans immigrated to countries like the United States. Most German Americans live in Pennsylvania, and the Midwest region. In 1939, a man called Adolf Hitler started the World War II, and fought against the Allies. Germany became stronger, but in 1945, Germany and its allies lost the war, and allies divided Germany to themselves. In 1949, Germany was split into two countries. During that time, the Cold War happened. West Germany was capitalist, democratic, and recovered faster. East Germany was a communist, puppet state of the Soviet Union and didn't recover until Germany was unified. During the Cold War, Berlin was also divided into two cities. East Berlin was part of West Germany. West Berlin was part of communist East Germany. To avoid people from escaping to the West Germany, Soviet Union created the Berlin Wall. In 1990, communism started to end in Russia, and Germany was reunified in 1990. Since 1990, Germany has been a democratic country. Since then, Germany has changed rapidly. It became one of the most successful countries in the world. Germany is the founding member of the European Union. Many people say that the European Union is the Fourth Reich. Since we finished history, let's answer our lesson question. How did Germany become successful? Germany failed many times. But in the end, they became successful. Germany is the most powerful nation in Europe, and have the highest level of manufacturing. Germany has a long, and rich history to be proud of. Germany has amazing foods like hot dog, pretzels, and more. German people have more different sense of humor than American people. German language may be hard, but there are German words in English, because English is a Germanic language itself. 
German people look similar to other Western European people. Thanks for watching.